Oh. Hey, go, go tell Jeff it's hunter time. All right, Smuggles, what do you play on Hunter? Do you play um, Capitalism Dagger? <laughs> it's so fragile. It's so fragile, though. Uh, I do like him. The other good one, actually, is uh, Crossbow. Crossbow is very good on Hunter. <laughs> What do we just play? Doctor? Oh, yeah. Doctor's on a six win streak here. Scissors. LOL. At Indrid is the note. Hunter. I think I'm contractually obligated to at Jeff the Jar in, in the potato portion of the Discord. Hunter. Correctly obligated to Kindred, fire it up, my man. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. We should talk about your stream stuff. I'm not joking. Talk about it. Funny is like. Is Claw good? <laughs> Not. So slow, 1.72. <laughs> is the extra range, right? I kind of want to play crossbow. Let's read the notes. Crossbow. Crossbow. LOL nuclear launcher on wave 7. Needs a lot of attack speed. Extra alien sucks a lot on crossbow. Okay. Our prediction. What's the outcome of this potato? Start. Crossbow. Crossbow kind of sucks on the first one. The other thing with crossbow that you have to remember is that you need to fight from the outside. Right? You need to have all of your... When it does crit, we're critting actually quite a bunch on this. That it, fi that it hits two. It doesn't just throw the crossbow bolt off the map. I did not get my level up because I cowered it out. Mm, probably this. And lock. An ugly tooth can come back later. Uh, Baby Gecko's actually good. And I can't afford another crossbow if I reroll. So we'll just take Gecko. Weird. Weird. What a weird run. Also, my problem with Hunter is I can't just endlessly click harvesting. <laughs> Makes me big mad. How do you even play the game? This crit chance is actually given at a premium. The tier one crit is three instead of five, so it's actually given at a premium. That's also why this character feels like they don't have a lot of money early and why the character can feel awfully fragile early is because you have no harvesting. You have to buy, and when buying this weapon, it's very expensive. So, you don't, are not at liberty to get a ton of health because you need weapons to kill aliens. The emo looks bet with one on loss. The premium value bet. Range? Oh, fertilizer. I actually don't want the dodge on Peaceful B. I've locked this item for no reason. I, I've come to remember that I don't want that. Uh, I want to take this health first going into wave 
four and one re-roll just real quick just a little just a little look-see at least one weapon per wave on this type of thing. I'm gonna take the crit. The life steal is intriguing. I just also just don't want to get hit. I'll take this max HP. It doesn't feel very good to do that, but here we are. Here's the choice I'm choosing. Uh start to stack the dodge up. The knockback on this eight had some but one so it goes up by five i mean i think i just keep taking crit chance i mean i do want more attack speed but we'll see what's the attack speed difference nothing interesting the piercing on crit uh we'll take the blood leech next wave i do want some kind of healing play these waves really cautiously uh, I'm trying to focus because we've lost on hunter in the past so just very very cautiously is how I would describe it Take the luck fine not great <clears throat> getting an auto pierce on them seems pretty good probably some pickup range is good too Sometimes, if you can't get past the initial... Oh yeah, there's an egg somewhere. There it is. If you can't get past the front line of enemies, like on a horde wave or something like that, it can feel pretty bad to try to pick items up. Now, we do have two um, baby geckos, but, you know, pickup range on baby gecko does not... is only for materials. It is not for everything else. Also, our super long range means materials drop kind of everywhere, so... I'm gonna pick up range, not so bad. Nice. Pick the luck. I don't think I want the regen. Um Ooh, percent damage. Remind myself not to constantly click harvesting. Pet turret, no thanks. Bun bun, sure. Wave nine peacock. Yeah. Sounds like a good way to lose, but also sounds like a good way to win. So on this wave, I'm not going to pick up a lot of the experience if I can help it. Which I can't because I have two baby geckos, but... 
We're going to do our best not to pick up experience and save it for next wave so we can get double experience on it with the peacock. That's the way I like to play this, because this is actually the perfect time to get it. We're going to go into the shop, buy peacock, go wave 9, and then pick up all of the XP as much as possible. And hopefully get four levels, if not more. I have enough to pay for it actually whoops i do okay i was actually concerned for a brief moment this pumpkin is also good now too minor concern now right, let's go wait nine Also need more attack speed. This character needs so much. This wave may be a ton of small enemies, but it seems like it's I don't know, still feels precarious. Since I'm playing a character that doesn't get hit all that often, I don't have a lot of, yup, exactly. And we're also have a peacock, so we're gonna be getting hit twice as hard. I don't know what to expect with that, so we just play kind of on the edge and chill. And we got four level ups from that, so that's nice. Uh, Take this armor. Oh, that was the attack speed I was talking about. Take the crit, what's the percent? Yeah. Like the last crit I need to take. Actually, take the health. If that's the last crit I need to take, we're pretty good on crit then. Take the range. Take the pierce health. Even though it's real expensive. Oh, XP gain. More armor for health? Probably not. I don't have an ugly tooth yet, do I? No. Can't take alien baby. Ooh, blood donation. Ooh, bait. Gambling chip is very, very, very efficient, so that's why I like to take it. There we go. Get fucked lampreys. Get out of here with that shit. Dance. Got the moves. Sniper shot, 91, 98. How are you this evening, afternoon, or day? Thank you so much for the follow. Thanks for being here. If you have questions about Rotator or other things, go ahead and throw them in chat. If not, you're good. Did you skip a blue crossbow? Maybe. I'm really tired. I've been online for three hours. If I did, I didn't mean to. I would have totally bought it. The Orion, welcome as well. Yeah, I could have. Uh, these all seem terrible. These seem kind of sus, but not too much. I just actually want, there we go, range. Now that the bolts like fly pretty far, you want them to fly even further. Okay, we have all elites. Sifties relic. No, 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 no. It was, it was a, it's a blatant mistake, but like also you're gonna, you play like 300 hours of potato on stream. There's gonna be just literal blatant mistakes. Um, I already have Sifty's relic at home. It's called two geckos and an alien tongue. Um, we'll roll once. It's not good, but I'm gonna do it and we'll, uh, are we at 86? So if these level up twice. Is 
Sniper shot. We're usually English around here, so let's go check what this says. I'm still not sure what that says after translating. Anyways, um, if you could repeat your message in English, we'll take a look. Uh, it looks like it's kind of a question. The translation did not do very well, though. I'm still not sure. Go fight this elite. Oh, it's Monk. Okay, well, this should be easy. Yeah, Google Translator says you have vitality on Jugger. I'm not sure. <laughs> It's on uh, the built-in one on the Edge browser when you can highlight text and it says translate to English on it. And it was like, wait a second. So yeah, feel free to repeat your question. I'm happy to. Happy to respond. Damage is very high. Actually, being near crit cap feels really, really good. I just feel the attack speed's pretty low. But dude having a sharp bullet and pumpkin to fix the piercing. Feels really good, actually. Google Translator Troll. Ah. Do you have a guy that spawns with minigun? Cyborg, I do. I play Cyborg with a screwdriver. Cyborg with a plank. Cyborg with a wrench. I prefer the plank the most, I believe. Ooh, that's pretty good. Plus 9 HP is really good too. Oh, he's great. All you do on Cyborg is every time you see a range damage upgrade, take it. Doesn't matter what item it's on, take all of them. You get it at such a premium on that character and it's so important for that character. Just take all of them. It's just bitching about uh, attack speed and then the game's like, here, have some attack speed. I'm gonna take this cute monkey. Yeah, that's like my only note on him. Like, I have a bunch of notes on all the potatoes because I'm trying to get a streak, but like, l like, literally just, just take a plank and get all the planks. One minigun. If you get offered a second minigun, it's better to have one red minigun than two purple miniguns. Uh, we've looked at it at the numbers uh, with a couple people in chat. Lightning Bugs from chat did the numbers for us and said red minigun better. And it definitely is. So take a plank and then just go find as much like range damage as you can because when it converts you'll get it at such a premium of course you need defensive stats and other things and yada yada i'll have to play it a few times if you're not comfortable with melee as well too um, screwdrivers is probably less punishing because of all the explosions all over the screen but you play screwdriver or plank. I don't really like playing wrench due to how all the turrets could be who knows where on the screen. So we've been playing plank on it recently. It's coming up in a few potatoes, but I don't think I'll get to that today. So, uh, I want to give up my only life steal. Woof. Takes more dodge for Retromation's hoodie, but like we're getting over the crit cap here. So we can take this metal actually. The speed. That last roll's awfully aggressive. Probably should not have rolled that the last time. That's what happens when the brain gets tired. I think we may switch to another game, chat. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. So I would like to preserve the streak and play when I'm feeling fresh. We could play some other dumb shit on Brotato. Like uh, one of the things, uh, Sniper Shot, you may not have uh, heard about is that if you go on YouTube, you can see my 250 something baits by Wave 20 from Fisherman. So we play, we play challenge modes around here as well too, that are pretty fun. How many baits can you get on Fisher before you uh, before you get to wave 20? You play it on mobile? Sweet. Any way that anyone plays Brotato, whether it be on Danger Zero, Danger 5, mobile, desktop, console, you're doing it right. 
you're playing a fun as fuck game. Now the input on console is like a little, uh, not on console, the input on mobile feels a little pretty janky, but not so bad. I think I'll take the movement speed actually. Minus range for percent is probably worth it at this point. Don't need any more crits. You want spicy sauce, just for three health. This character uh, is called Butcher. Wait, did I take a baby alien? I must be just like walking really fast. You know, I'm so used to having an ugly tooth that it feels like he has an ugly tooth. Don't get, don't double slash me, bro. Don't do it. Don't double slash me. So as I step away from Butcher, it's to give me more space to move around and also let the crossbows take out more of the other aliens on the wave because you don't want to put every piece of damage that you have into the elite. Otherwise, the rest of the wave builds up and then you can die from just the rest of the wave. So you need to balance the like murdering the elite slash killing the rest of the wave. Hard to use melee on mobile. Yeah, so you may have to use wrenches on um, Cyborg. Because wrenches will give you uh, turrets that do a ton, fuck ton of damage in the second half. I think once it switches over, so it might be harder. Um, I want to keep my HP. More dodge for more hoodie. Hotcrex, how are you? And bye, good night. Thanks for stopping by. Good talk. When you use Ghost Flint on loud? Oh yeah. Take another schmoop, I guess. I'm gonna take the butterfly too. I haven't been getting hit a lot, but like if I do get hit, it like it feels spooky right now. You have 60 dodge though, so we like save this injection too. There's a bunch of wacky stuff on mobile, and I think the developers have been developing mobile and there's like a few other things that they've like launched on mobile that have not made it to desktop. If they're making all their money from the mobile game because desktop is a one-time purchase for five dollars and they're making microtransactions and other things, yeah, good, good on them. They're gonna go make their money. How much attack speed you get? That doesn't sound like a glitch. That just sounds like loud. I do that on loud with uh, Thief Dagger. Loud has so many aliens. The last time I played loud, I got. 10 gentle aliens and 5 mouse, so we had as many aliens on the screen as possible, and it still did not matter. So I had enough attack speed, enough damage, enough everything, that it just did not matter. And all the thieves' daggers were getting uh, so much. No oh, thanks. Uh, no thing. Sure. Why not? Nine speed, engineering, no. Crit, dodge, dodge cap, plus retromations hoodie. So much attack speed. Holy moly. Oh, whoops. Cat advice, what's up? Ooh, harvesting. Oh, wait. Gentle alien at this point? Sure. Ooh, shackles are good. Triangle of power is actually really good. Really good. I want this metal too. Loud is like one of the best characters to just get huge on. Go play it with Thief Dagger and then you get so much money. Just so much money. Oh, extra aliens? Good, Thief Dagger. Oh, aliens don't give you as much uh, resources. Take a look. Ah! Unlocking max attack speed. 4.6 million views. I should go look at this person, how they make videos. Jesus. Where right, I learned about it. Yeah. You can look at stuff on my t YouTube as well. I'm working on posting some more videos. I got... No, I got behind on posting and uh, due to real life circumstances, but uh, there'll be some more on there from the stream and whatnot. So. I don't know that it's like 
unlocking anything, but uh, yeah, Loud is one of the strongest like characters in the game because extra aliens is not a downside. Extra aliens is just a huge bonus. Recycle. Hunting trophy. You're pretty late, but okay. More dodge. We're over the dodge cap. I would prefer other stats. Man, I feel so poor without so much harvesting. I bought two items? Man. Did I have like 300 harvesting like I did on my last character? God, Retromation's hoodie is fucking ridiculous. Did lower my damage by quite a bit because of the way this ca the way this weapon works. Eh, take a look, sure. Were thin coffee, broken mouth, three lock the crossbow button. Did we get we got Colossus. Colossus here to fuck on my day. Oh no, if you want to be if you want to be the endless god, uh and I played it a few days ago. I believe it's highlighted on my channel here. You got to go play demon. I find that loud is mostly invincible after like, I don't know, wave 6 or something. There you go. The game is so fun. I don't know. Brotato is like an incredible game. And if they're able to monetize off of ads on the mobile version, more power to them. They only charge $5 for this incredible game. Sure, potato. Broken mouth. Okay. I'm feeling a lot tankier now. Our 11 armor, 67 HP. Like, this is like shot off the deep end here again 200 percent attack speed we actually just big chilling danger five by the way danger five Just get a Retromation hoodie, like, I already have a bunch of dodge. Oh, I bought Bertato for like five or six other people at this point. Same with like Deep Rock Galactic, I bought for like five or six other people. They're like, oh no, it's just like Vampire Survivors and blah blah blah. It's like, this game is not just like Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors hurts my eyes and is not that entertaining. Uh, let's do this. Take the attack speed, Jesus. Um, take the four armor. House for more enemies. Probably not at this point, but we will do this. Send damage. Or piercing, I guess. Mod potential is interesting, but the problem with everybody's mod is like they want to make the game easier. 
Like, I don't need the game to be easier. I need, like, people to make actually interesting mods. I don't think any of the mods that are out there are all that interesting to me. If other people are enjoying them, sure. But I looked at the whole mod list and I'm like, eh. So I just took the quality of life mods that do math for you and just show you the math. Like, instead of you having to do the math, I took the quality of life ones. Yeah, there's a ton of, like, potential, but, like, I think people put too much power into the game. And the game is already so powerful. This is where the run took off right here, Peacock. We will take Peacock into Wave 9 and save up all of our extra EXP. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, yeah. Peacock, insane. And then also Retromation's hoodie. Because Retromation's hoodie came at, like, so early. And sure, the minus range sucks because you get eight, minus 8 damage to your crossbows because they get 10%. But, like, you can fix that. This attack speed is absolutely bonkers. This hoodie is... This is probably one of the best red items, right? Like, just pretty nuts. Just nuts town. Um, yeah. It's 100% crit chance. It sure is. Okay. I thought I, like, went short on crit. I don't really like to build over the crit cap of the red weapons, because, like, these are close enough. But, like, maybe I should have built more crit, because I had the hunting trophy. Eh. Triangle power is actually really good, too. So, 